Hey everybody, it's GameBlaster64 and I'm here with a tutorial for how to start a bucket server on your Windows machine. I've had a lot of people ask me about this recently and it seems like a lot of people want to run their own servers and that's great. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. The toughest part is going to be setting up port forwarding and things. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to bucket.org which is where Bucket pretty much lives on the internet webs. Um, over on the right hand side you'll see um, recommended build stuff and that is where they keep the latest version that's pretty much safe to use. Um, there is a, a dev build you can run, but uh, it's not very safe. It's only good if you know the people that are coming on your server, because it might be insecure, and uh, it might you know burn down your world. You never know. So you can be pretty well assured that the recommended build is safe to use. So you click on download here or whatever. It asks you to download standard stuff, really. <laughs> you know, Click keep or save or whatever browser you're using. It's good. Um, let that download and actually you know what I've got a, a copy already on my hard drive so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that and then go to the directory that I've got that installed in so just give me one sec like I forgot out my Dropbox somewhere Development. That's right. It's in a development. Bucket. Yada yada yada. Okay. So anyway, in here is the craft bucket dot jar file that uh, I downloaded earlier. It's the same thing that's on the internet webs right now. Um, it's basically a Java application. It has all the code and goodies inside. Um, so what we need to do is we need to create a file that will get the Java thing open. And so what you do is you end up passing this jar file to Java. So what I did is I created a, a batch file, which is a Windows script. It's basically just text. You can edit it in Notepad or Notepad++. And uh, it basically has the commands in it that Windows will run to get Java that jar file and get it running. What I've got is uh, five lines here. Um, I'll probably paste it on the forums um, and paste the link in the description so that you guys can get a copy of it. Um, that would probably be pretty handy. Um, Anyway, the number one line that you really want to pay attention to is the fourth one. It basically says, hey Java, here's the jar file we downloaded. And now you can run it to your heart's content. Yay! So anyway, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to create a brand new folder and start from scratch as though we had just done this brand new. So this is what, it'll probably look a little bit closer to yours. Um, that way it's I'm not starting from something I've already got. So bucket from scratch. I'm going to copy my jar file over that I downloaded and I'll do the same thing for my batch file and create a new text file it's going to say new text document .txt. get rid of the .txt and replace it with .bat that way Windows knows it's a batch file and it'll run the script inside um, it'll probably complain when you go to save it uh, just click yeah 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 whatever doesn't matter um, we don't want .txt we want .bat anyway so edit the file, copy my stuff, goodies, whatever, code, and yeah, most of this stuff really isn't all that important, it's just the fourth line you want, really, but the other stuff is kind of handy because it'll keep the window open when it's done, yada 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 yada. So just copy all the lines and, and uh, you'll be good to go. save it okay so now if we double click this batch file then it'll start the bucket server there is one caveat too actually um, inside the batch file it specifies in mind that it's Java 7 if you have Java 6 uh, JRE 6 then it's a little different um, I think it's probably the same folder or pretty close, you just replace 7 to a 6. Anyway, the, the first time you double click on this batch file, open it up, um, it bucket runs through its initial startup thing. You can see it's created a whole shitload of files here. 99% um, of them you don't really even need to care about, but um, it's just generating the terrain for the first little bit for um, the world that we have, you know, the spawn, and uh, uh, the end and the nether. 
So while that's going, I'm going to get Minecraft started, and then we can join this server. Hopefully it doesn't lag out too bad, because I'm recording a video, you know, opening Minecraft and starting a brand new server. So let's just give my computer a second to breathe. And there we are. <laughs> okay, so there's the Minecraft we all know and love. Um, just go ahead and log in. Yes. Oh, it's done now. Okay, good. So, yeah, you'll see in there somewhere, done. That means that it's ready for you to join. Uh, it'll probably be complaining that uh, your computer's too slow because, I don't know, I think it has a really high you know, expectation of what server is going to be running it on. Um, I mean, I used to run it on an old laptop, so don't feel too bad if it complains about your computer a lot. Just go to Direct Connect, type in localhost, that's your computer, that's your local computer, wherever the server is running, on your same PC that you're using right now. Pretty much on any PC you sit down at, localhost is that machine. Okay, so here we are. So I'm actually playing in the server. Um, some piggies, some ice, yada yada yada, if I type hello, see it and it shows up in the bucket server as well and you can actually type hello back from the bucket server so we know it's running uh, so as I was saying there's like 20 million files that get created with it um, the most important one is going to be server.properties um, this has all of the stuff that basically controls your server like how many players can join if you're this whitelist if there's PvP you know what the server's name is what the folder name for the world is saved in and all that um, if you want to edit this, it's important to shut your server off first. So don't just close the window, um, because that is like turning off your computer without actually shutting down. What you do is you type in stop in the server window. Um, and that actually is like shutting down properly. So you give it a second, it saves all the chunks, kills all the animals off, shuts down the server properly. And then once that bucket server window is done, uh, you can go in and edit your server.property file to your hop, uh, heart's content and then just restart your server when you're done. <clears throat> yeah, so anyways, there's a couple of the files too. There's ops. These are the people that are your administrators. Obviously, you want to put your name in there. Um, like, I'm going to put mine in. Makes sense. Uh, there's another one in here called uh, banned players. You put banned players in there. Whitelist. If the whitelist is turned on in your server.properties file, then what that does is it means only these players can join your server. So it's really important that if you have a server running and you have that turned on, that you put your username in there. <laughs> because otherwise you won't be able to connect to your own server, which sucks. And you have to you know, shut it down, type your name in the whitelist, and then go back. I'm not sure. There might be one caveat that if you're in the ops file, you may not need to be in the whitelist file, but don't quote me on that one. What else? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Bucket comes out with a new version all the time. Uh, if they do that, you can just go ahead to bucket.org and download it and overwrite the file that's there. Either keeping the same file name, or if you change the file name, then go ahead and download a new version and type it into your server, uh, start server.bat file. Um, not a big deal. I usually just keep the file name even though it's not correct. Um, I even had like a beta version named as the same thing. It's It'll still work. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions. Cheers.